I had always heard about spermicide as a method of birth control. I had just never tried it because I was so used to being on the pill for so long. The reason I switched from the pill to the condoms and the spermicide is because the pill was making me bigger. Like I had gotten well over 240 pounds and my breast had gotten extremely big and I went on a diet and everything was getting smaller except my breast. So my back started hurting and that's what I went to the doctor and they told me to stop using the pill and they switched me to the condoms and the spermicide. The spermicide foam is similar to the yeast infection medication that you can get at the store. Um, you just put the applicator inside your vagina, you know, the, you push it and the gel, the foam comes out and then you wait 10, 15 minutes before you have intercourse. I usually put the spermicide in um, when he calls and says I'm on my way over because he doesn't live that far from me. I don't think he needs to know what I use as far as birth control, unless he tells me, okay, because I think it's just natural for guys to say, you need to go get put on the pill or, you know, something along that lines that the spermicide is just private for me, something I do. My last relationship was abusive, so I didn't like if, if he found out that I had put on the condom, it, it was bad. I became very creative in that relationship. So I would go to the store and I'd buy like lubricant and I'd buy the spermicide and the foam. I would squeeze, you know, the foam in and put it in. And then with the lube, I would squeeze out some of the lube to make him think that that's what I was putting inside. He already had a lot of kids and so I knew like the chances of me getting pre pregnant by him were really high. So I just used it as my protection and he thought it was lubricant. So I let him believe it was lubricant and didn't tell him anything else. And um, it was just safe for me. My name's Courtney, I'm 28 and the methods that I use are condoms and spermicide.